Mouina Rabani is a senior visiting fellow at the Institute for Palestine Studies in Washington, D.C. This Middle East-based analyst is in Washington until October 10th for public speaking events, and he's available for media appearances and press inquiries concerning the Palestinian United Nations Initiative. In this video, Rabani answers the question about what's next for the Palestinians at the United Nations. In terms of what to expect now, I think it's very much of an open question. Um, the Security Council will begin consideration of the Palestinian application for full membership on Monday, but it's unclear how long those deliberations are going to take, and it's equally unclear what the Palestinians are going to do um, when that application is inevitably rejected um, as a result of either U.S. veto or successful U.S. bullying of other council members uh, to, to vote against this, uh, this application. So we need the next things to look at are whether and how um, uh, the Palestinians go to the General Assembly and also how they're going to respond to the latest um, quartet statement. Now, if, if you look at the quartet statement, it's, I think, fair to describe it as considerably worse than many of its awful predecessors in the sense that the current um, quartet statement says virtually nothing about anything except trying to put in place another bogus process of, of you know, um, proposals within three months and a framework agreement within a year and peace and light for a thousand years by the end of 2012. Well, been there, done that several hundred times. The, the point here is that um, the quartet was, the quartet, which was basically established by the Bush administration as a substitute for the international community, was interestingly enough incapable of agreeing on terms of reference for um, uh, yet another uh, peace process. And the basic reason it was unable to do so was because Washington insisted on inserting the most extreme Israeli preconditions uh, for diplomacy into the quartet statement, and in doing so, met resistance from the Europeans, and so it seems outright rejection uh, from, uh, from the Russians, which apart from their membership in the quartet have never really taken um, its, its directives all that seriously. And so um, Washington, on the one hand, rejected inserting anything about um, a settlement freeze into the quartet statement, basically imposing settlement construction as, as, as part of any peace process, and at the same time insisted, um, insisted on uh, inserting uh, recognition of Israel as a Jewish state as part of the quartet's terms of reference. When that failed, the quartet could do nothing more than come up with a rather lame excuse for yet another process. And so I think this is likely to push the Palestinians even further down the path of, uh, of internationalization. So here we see what can only be described as the extremism, which has taken hold in, uh, in Washington, having a positive impact on the development of an alternative Palestinian strategy.